Hello grade 11s, today we will look at co-function reductions. This type of reduction follows from reductions of the horizontal axis. These are reductions of the vertical 90 degree axis. We only have to consider 90 degrees plus and minus theta and not reductions of 270 degrees. In these reductions, we use the co-ratios. Remember that the co-function of sine is cosine, or cos as we call it. This means that the co-function of cos is sine. Let's take a step backwards and show how these co-functions work. Here is a right angle triangle. Theta is indicated, and so is the other angle, which is complementary to theta, and therefore has a value of 90 degrees minus theta. Sine of 90 degrees is equal to B over C. Cos of 90 minus theta is also equal to B over C. Let's prove this relationship with some calculations. Sine of 5 degrees is equal to 0, 0, 0,0087155 and so on. Cos of 85 degrees is equal to the same number. Cos of 75 degrees is equal to the same number as sine of 15 degrees. The basis for this reduction is sine 90 plus or minus an angle and cos 90 plus or minus an angle. These relationships can be summarized as follows. Sine 90 degrees minus theta is cos theta and sine 90 degrees plus theta is cos theta. Sine is positive in both the first and second quadrants which is why the ratios are positive. Cos is not positive in the second quadrant. Cos of 90 degrees minus theta is in the first quadrant and is equal to sine theta. Cos of 90 degrees plus theta is in the second quadrant and is equal to negative sine theta. Let us do a few examples so that we can get the feel of this reduction. We will be working with special angles so we need to use the table to work out numeric values. If you don't already have it, you can find it on our website with the series guide. Otherwise, press pause and take a moment to copy it down. OK, let's get started with our first question. Without the use of a calculator, evaluate the following. Sine 135 degrees times cos of 15 degrees all over sine of 75 degrees. The wording without a calculator indicates that we will be working with special angles. This will work with sine of 135 degrees because when we reduce the angle it gives us 45 degrees. But it won't work for cos of 15 degrees nor for sine of 75 degrees. This means that we will have to use our co-function reductions. 15 degrees and 75 degrees are complementary angles. This means that we can either change cos of 15 degrees to sine of 75 degrees, or we can change sine of 75 degrees to cos of 15 degrees. The trick with these is only to change one of them. Let's change sine of 75 degrees and reduce the ratio of sine of 135 degrees. This gives us sine of 180 degrees minus 45 degrees times cos of 15 degrees over sine of 90 minus 15 degrees. This simplifies to sine of 45 degrees times cos of 15 degrees over cos of 15 degrees. Remember to check the cost diagram when doing this step. Did you notice the cos of 15 degrees in the denominator and the numerator? This means that we can cancel them. We can now replace sine of 45 degrees with its numeric value of root 2 over 2. Let's try a slightly different example. This next question is popular in exams. If sine of 25 degrees is equal to b, write the following in terms of b. Sine of 155 degrees, cos of 105 degrees, cos of 65 degrees 
and tan of 205 degrees? There are four parts to this question. To solve each part, we will first have to write the ratio in terms of sine of 25 degrees, and then we will change it to B. Let's start with the first one. Sine of 155 degrees can be reduced to an acute angle. This lies in the second quadrant, so sine will be positive. We start by writing it as sine of 180 degrees minus 25 degrees, which reduces to sine 25 degrees. This is therefore equal to B. That wasn't too bad. Let's try the next one. Cos of 105 degrees. This also lies in the second quadrant. There are two things we need to change in this ratio. Firstly, we need to change cos to sine. Then, we need to change the angle to 25. We'll use co-function reduction to change cos to sine. So maybe we'll be able to change the angle at the same time. Let's see. To change cos to sine, we need to write the angle as 90 plus 25 degrees. Remember that cos is negative in the second quadrant. This means that when we change cos to sine, sine will be negative. This reduces to negative sine of 25 degrees, which is negative B. That one was a little more complicated, but we got it. Let's try the next one. Cos of 65 degrees. This angle is in the first quadrant. Thank goodness for that. Once again, we see we need to change both cos to sine and the angle to 25 degrees. Let's use co-functions. We can change this to cos of 90 degrees minus 25 degrees. This reduces to sine 25 degrees, which is B. The last part of this question looked more complicated. Let's try it together. Tan of 205 degrees. This looks more complicated because it is tan and the angle is not 25 degrees. Let's start by reducing the ratio of tan and then we'll deal with changing tan to sine. 205 degrees falls into the third quadrant where tan is positive. Tan of 205 degrees is equal to tan of 180 degrees plus 25 degrees. This reduces to tan of 25 degrees. We now have a problem and we need to think out of the box. What if we were to use a right angle triangle to solve for this? I'll show you what I mean. Sine of 25 degrees was B, which could be regarded as B over 1. And we remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we place the B on the side opposite to 25 degrees and 1 on the hypotenuse. We can now use Pythagoras' theorem to solve for the other side of the triangle and get the tan ratio, opposite over adjacent. We know that the answer won't look pretty, but it will be in terms of B, which is what the question asked for. According to Pythagoras, the adjacent side is equal to the square root of 1 minus B squared. We can now use this triangle to give a value of tan of 25 degrees. Tan 25 is b over the square root of 1 minus b squared. And that's as far as we can take it for now. Remember to try the trigonometric equations task video. You will also be able to learn more about trigonometric equations on our website www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. So learn your reductions and there won't be any ructions. Take care, Grade 11s.